All right, so I just restarted my primary domain controller. And one of the things that I would like to test in here is how can we make the additional domain controller as a primary domain and how can we transfer the FISMA roles that we have. So what are we going to do is in this lab is we are going to make the San Francisco primary domain controller as additional and this as a primary domain controller. So in order to do that, uh, if I simply go here and log into my primary domain controller, you should be able to see that this actually holds the PDC rules at the moment. If I click on start, admin tools, and then in here, users and computers, or if I right click here, go to operation masters, you can see that this is the um, operation master that I currently have. And this is uh, the same thing is for primary domain controller and infrastructure. If I want to change it, I can change it from here or I can change it from here by clicking on change and then say, are you sure you want to transfer operation master role? Yes, it is now transferred. If I go here, I can do the same for PDC and do the same for infrastructure FISMO role. So now if I click on close and if I go here and go to operation masters, you can see right now it's on the error state, but um, soon you will see that it is going to change because it needs to actually replicate those changes in order to show um, those settings to you. One thing that I want to tell you is uh, Another technique is called seizing a domain controller. Let's just say that this primary domain controller that we have in here is no longer working. It's no longer available and it's no longer going to be in the network and you are sure about that. What you can do is you can do the seizing where uh, this is no longer available and when you right click on your additional domain go to operation master you always see this error because there is no connectivity with the primary domain it's down it's no longer working you can click on change and you can always change it so that is what you can do so one thing that you have to make sure when you do seizing you have to make sure after changing the primary domain controller it is no longer uh, gonna be live in the network because it will create a lot of uh, problems. If a domain controller holding FISMA role fails, the best thing to do is uh, try and get the server online again. Since none of the FISMA roles are immediately critical, um, well, uh, almost none. Um, the loss of the PDC emul emulator FISMA role might become problem unless you fix it in a reasonable amount of time. Um, so it is not a problem um, to them to be unavailable for hours or even days. Um, so basically always try to make sure that you bring up your PDC online again um, that should be the primary focus and if it's no longer uh, up then make your additional as a PDC and make sure it's no longer going to be live in the network again. You will have to reinstall the Windows operating system and then uh, install Active Directory again on that server and then you can transfer the roles if you want to.